Hi, welcome to another Until I Die. This is a bard, oh, the bard's tale, should I say, and was requested by Pack Billy. Um, that's the same Pack Billy that uh, that um, is currently playing. Um, no, no, no. It's Jim's players' games. It's playing with, with well, featuring Pack Billy's is playing. Um, either behold the three. Pack Billy's playing. Oh, I can't remember now. Um, it's a C64 role-playing game, and it's something to do with... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, it's been a while since I think he's posted one up, actually. Uh, let me just check. Um, just give me one second. It would be no, not poor Billy. For crying out loud, Google. Pack Billy, Pack Billy YouTube. Let me just double check. So yeah, because the last thing he posted was the Dark Castle stuff, which is always fun to watch. And Times of Law, that's what he was playing. I can't remember whether he finished it or not. He might have done. But my, I can't remember to finish with it or not. Um, so I do apologise if I can't remember. But there you go. Um, so anyway, um, there'll be a link to his channel in the description, as well as the link to the um, current either Beholder playlist that uh, Jim plays ga games has got. And it's also really annoying that somebody else has just started the uh, same either Beholder three. Um, game that they're playing, that's Kikoskia. So I'm gonna have to wait until a while after a while after Jim Pack Billy have done theirs before I start. Because I don't mind watching it again, because like, you know, different commentaries, different people, which is fair enough. But sometimes it's like, you know, you want a bit of time, you know, to watch a few of the Let's Plays before you go and watch the one you've just seen because otherwise it gets a bit it can get a bit repetitive and boring if you're watching you know it's, it's that sort of view unless of course it's alien isolation and it's someone completely different doing it at which point i love to see what happens when um, they go to the medical way and i want to see how well they ship themselves or not <laughs> but there you go um so anyway bard's tale the spectrum version so we can um Create a character, remove character, load party, save party, quit game, or exit guild. Um, I believe what they give you at the moment is the um, like a template pack, so you don't have to create them. So I think I think I'm happy with this anyway. I don't really want to change it up because I don't want to spend too much time. I just want to play it and see what it's like. So if I click Exit Guild, you face east, right? Okay. So I've now also um, I've got the instructions here because I knew I'd have to use them. So moving about, I uh, I to move forward, K to kick a door open, and uh, it's L to turn right, and I'm sure it's J to turn left. Yes, it is. So kicking a door open, that sounds like um, a card game called um, Munchkin, which is based on the idea of D&D. Um, it's where you click the door down to, to see, you know, what's behind the door and whether there's trouble behind it or not. Anyway, so we're in Scarabray, which I believe is one of them. I think it's one of the famous... Wait a minute, I've heard of Scarabray before. What's the... Um, I was going to say it was one of the famous places in, in Forgotten Realms, but I'm now... What's the place in... What's that bar in, in um, Jedi Outcast? Wasn't that similar? Is it Scarabrains? Hang on, Scarabrain... Uh, Bray... Star Wars... Yeah, I thought it was a Scarabrain Star Wars. I'm sure there was. Mm, no, I 
this is maybe not. Um, Jedi Outcast. There was a similar place in Jedi Outcast called Scarabray. I'm pretty sure of it. Because I remember it's the one where you go to the, um, you go to the bartender. And, um, hmm. Yeah. So it's located on the Forgotten Realm, which is located in the Bay of Scar Scale, is it Scarly? Or Scar Scale? On the west coast of the mainland. Oh, no. Um, it's about Scotland again, for crying out loud, Google, you are shit. Alright, well, uh, fuck it. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a Scarabray or something sounding like that in Star Wars, but I can't see it. Um, so, whatever. I have no idea. Right, uh, what am I doing? I'm turning off the instructions, and I'm spending too much time talking. People are going to get bored. Right, so, so what we're going to do, we're facing east. So if I turn to the right, face south. Face west, face north. So I'm assuming I've just come out of there. Oh no, I would have come out of here. So if I go forward, no? Keep the. You face death itself in the form of six cold walls. Will your Star Wars band fight or run? Well, we'll fight definitely. Brian, the first of these options in this battle round. Attack throwers, party attack, defend or use item. Uh, excuse me. So we will attack foes. El Cid will attack foes. Samson will attack foes. Marcus will... Oh, ooh. Marcus will not attack foes. Will he hide in the shadows, defend or party attack? Can I look at the character? Press four? No, I can't. Um, hmm. Hide in the shadows. Merlin can cast a spell. Spell to cast, I have no idea. Let's go. Magic Missile. Is that a no? Um, let's just defend. Omar can defend as well. Use these commands, yes. Ryan the Fist swings at a cobalt and hits for 9 damage, killing him. Samson swings at a cobalt and hits for 4 damage. El Cid swings at a cobalt and hits for 4 damage, killing him. Cobalt slashes at El Cid but misses. Cobalt slashes at Brian the Fist but misses. Cobalt slashes at Brian Fist and misses. Samson gets slashed for three. He still face four Cobalts, that's fine, we'll fight again. Attack foes, attack foes, attack foes. Defend, defend, defend. We use these commands. So we've got another Cobalt dead. Uh, another one's damaged. We've got so we've got two left now on the coal boards, and so we've got now one injured, one alive. It's fine. We'll fight them again because we can take these on. I'm just going to use attack, 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 defend, defend, defend. So that's down down to one kobold. And kill that kobold. Each character received 60 experience points for valor and battle knowledge and 7 pieces of gold. Merlin found plate armor, but I don't know how it'd wear that. And right, let's look at the characters. 
find the fist. Uh, I can look at them by clicking the number, so I'll click one for this one. So there's a human paladin. Uh, strength 12, IQ 9, dexterity 14, constitution 10, and luck 6, level 2. I'm not sure what SPPT is. Uh, okay. So we've got chainmail, helm, gauntlets, a talbot shield, and a halberd. Okay. Choose ETDP. Oh, equip, take, drop. I'm not sure what P is. Um, if I quit look at the instructions. Oh, it's equip, trade, drop, and pull. Pull all the gold. This gives uh, all the the power. Um, sorry, excuse me. This problem is when you're reading something that's uh, in a different orientation when the uh, text goes everywhere. Um, pulled all the gold. This gives all the party's gold to the character being viewed. Okay. Which I don't want to do. Press the break or shimble ship and space together to leave the view character mode. Hmm. Okay, so that's fine. I've just done control and space on my keyboard. El Cid, who's an elf and a bard. Uh, I'm not going to go through the the, um, the stats. You can have a look at there. I've given you enough time, I think. Press the key. So he's got a war axe, a chainmail, helm, there's a gloves, chamber shield, and a fire horn. Samson is a dwarf warrior. Just leave this a second so you can read the um, stats. Okay, it's got a broadsword, chainmail, helm, gauntlets, and a tower shield. Uh, Marcus. It's a hobbit and a rogue. That's a mace, a buckler, leather armor, le leather gloves, and two lamps. So we need to try and remember that. Uh, we've got Merlin. A gnome conjurer. Mm. Has a dagger, ropes and plate armor, but obviously he's not wearing them and I don't think he can. Question is, I don't think I've ever see. Let's look at Omar. Elf Magician. Alright, Staff and Robes. Alright, okay. So I'm just having a quick look at the instructions. It says, um. Hmm. Combat commands. So I've got bard tunes. Um, sing one of the six bard tunes. One combat round only. And we've got the cast one, which was um, available to magic users. Type the code letters. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can find. Right, I'm gonna just just give me one second whilst I go back here. It should be. Oh. The English instructions do not give me the.
With the adventuring command, the spell will not in combat add a prompt type in the number of a character. I will cast a spell and type in the code for the spell, but I don't have the code. In fact, unless I have to learn it separately. Which means my characters don't have... Hmm, okay, whatever. Um... Alright, I can't open the door. Kick the door in. Empty building. Exit building. Face north. I've got a feeling most of these are going to be empty. We face death itself and two mad dogs. We can fight those. Attack, attack, attack. Defend. Cast spell. I'll try LP, I don't know. No? Okay. Um. Defend. Defend. Okay, so we're hitting a mad dog for three. And we've killed one. And we've killed the other one. Each character receives 60 experience points for valor and uh, battle knowledge and 5 gold pieces, I believe that was. Garthus Equipment Shop. Mm, don't think I'm interested at the moment, to be honest. Building. Fight the Hobbit. Attack, attack. Defend, defend, defend. Four damage. Seven killing. I think that's the Hobbit dead. Eleven experience points is six gold. Three magicians, so this is going to be interesting. So, three attacks and three defends again. Kill the first magician. Kill the second magician. And kill the third one. And only seven gold from that. So I know I've missed a load of buildings, but I'm not too bothered at the moment. Have I gone the wrong way? Ooh, skeleton. Fight that one. Uh, 
had killed him in the first hit. But does have 10 pieces. Oh, and a war axe. 10 pieces of gold and a war axe. It's nice. Um, I don't know where I am at the moment. I'm quite lost to be honest. No map. I suppose with this type of game you'd have to make a map. Four dwarves. Right, so first dwarf done. Uh, and some injuries. <clears throat> uh, three dwarfs, that's fine, we can fight them again. Another one gone. Can you still take him on? Oh, I'm going to try a bard song. Play tune one to six and play three. Oh, attack. Defend, defend, defend. So that's another dwarf gone. Another one injured. So play to tune. And uh, doesn't tell me what the tune is. Okay, so we've killed them all. Got 20 gold out of it though. Right, let me have a look at. It says you can press party attack at any time to voluntarily enter intra-party combat. No idea what that means. Hmm. Okay. Problem is it doesn't say anything about the spell usage in the instructions. Okay. Alright, so problem is I'm a bit lost. So what does P do? Oh okay, I think I get what this is.
Oh, uh, maybe if you have different sorts of parties, you can have them detect different, maybe. Or maybe it shows you who's attacking what, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh dear, I've just killed myself. Oh no. Oh, I've just realized what party attack is now. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. So, um, basically, if you want to attack members of your own party, use the peek a command, because that's what I've just done. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, damn. I'm assuming the reason why... So people, so excuse me. Oh, I assume why some people can't get, like, at the back is you know some people at the back can't possibly attack. Is maybe they're in a formation and they can't possibly. Um, and I'm also getting this now that um, the hits is the full amount of hit points, so Omar's not been hit yet, Merlin hasn't been hit yet, Marcus hasn't been, but Samson's got 8 points left, and Elsa has got 15 points left, so I think I get that now, um, fight, um, we'll use another bard song, I'm going to play tune 2, attack foes, attack foes, defend, defend, Use domes. So we're hitting for very little at the moment. Elsid has lost his voice. Marcus should. Yeah, Marcus is now less. Okay, fight. Attack, attack, attack. Defend, defend. Use these. Still got one cold ball, never. I'm gonna um I just wanna double check something. I'm trying to find There we go. So I found the spells on um, the Bard's Tale wiki for the Conjurer. So I'm going to try one. So I'm going to fight, attack foes, attack foes, attack foes. Merlin's going to use a cast spell. So he would be level 2, I think he was. Spells by level according to Conjurer is Mage Flame, uh, Arc Fire, Sorcerer's Shield, or Trap Set. 
So Mage Flame is M I M A F L. Um, takes two spell points, I believe. Um, oh wait, it's the same as Torch. Maybe not that one. Uh, maybe use Arc Fire then. A R F I causes one to four damage to a single target. Time to cast this level. So A R F I. Cool. Cast a member. 1 to 6, no, or group A, yes. Alright, Omar is a mage, I believe. So... Let's give me a second, let's see if I can scroll down and find the... Look at the classes. So we've got, we've got major thing we had. Magician, that's it, not magic mage. Spells by level. <clears throat> we've got vocal paint uh paint off of crying out loud, I'm sick of these bloody adverts. We've got uh, vocal plating, uh, which buffs party member for two plus, plus two to eight damage dealt. We've got air armor, we've got Sabah's Steelite spell, uh, we've got Scry Sight, and we've got for level two, Holy Water, Wither Strike, um, Mage Gauntlets, and Area Enchant. Now the Wither Strike is uh, turn enemy old. Let's try that. And that uh, command for that is W I S T. So cast spell W I S T. Does not know the spell. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give a four for plating. So it's B O P L. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Oh, my has these C. B O P L. Excellent. This boss party member for plus two to eight damage down. So I'm going to do two L Sid. Use these commands. Samson swings uh, and kills him. No then cast a spell. Omar cast a spell. Okay. And we get a shitload of gold. And a war axe. Hmm. <laughs> Next to the building. Get lost. Get a barbarian. So we'll defend this time. These commands. Whilst I have another look at the um, classes, because I want to see what the bard does. Ooh, Samson's dead. Oh no. I just noticed that. Sorry, I'm, I'm busy looking at the bard. Mm -mm. You know, when I click to... Thank you. Songs, here we go. So the first song will increase the damage to your party. Um, Sorry. The first tune increases the damage your party will do in combat by dragging with them into Berserker's Rage. The second song will produce light when exploring and during combat it will increase the 
party's chance of fitting a foe with a weapon. The third song will soothe your savage foes, making them do less damage in the combat. The fourth song is an ancient elven melody, which will heal the bard's runes during travel and heal the party's runes during combat. Ooh, okay. The fifth song um, makes the members of your party more dexterous and agile, thus more difficult to hit. And the sixth song uh, sets up a partial anti-magic field which gives party members some increased protection against spell casting. Ah. Okay. Let's try the fourth song. So, fight again. Bard's still up, so let's use a bard song. And the healing one was the fourth one. Attack foes, attack foes, defend, use these commands. So he does book roll damage, else he lost his voice. And my party's been getting decimated by a barbarian. Um, let's try one more go. Probably gonna die anyway. So I'll send that has to attack attack Merlin can cast a spell. About what spell was it? Let's have a look. She's a con he's a conjurer. Mm. It was arc fire, wasn't it? ARFI And you can do barbarian. And defend with these commands. So we've killed the barbarian finally. I don't know what SPPT means, it's spell points. Okay, three pieces of gold. So building. Six dwarves. Um, oh, I wonder whether El Cid has spell points as well. Let's run. So I'm pretty thin. Feeling what was wrong from this. That's how I had Merlin is dead. No, El Cid's dead. Merlin's very close to it. Uh, try running again. Exit the building. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to have to go for a suicide run, actually. <clears throat> Sod it, let's kill the hobbits. Um, we're gonna die soon anyway. I don't mind so much. I mean, to be honest, from what I've played so far, this is quite interesting. And, um, I might actually do this as a proper live stream at some point. You know, and play it a bit properly. I mean, I could do it as a um, Poke for Extra Lives, but I've got a feeling. If I try doing that, it's going to have, <laughs> it's going to just eat my hard drive space in terms of how much I'm recording. Um, so it's probably not a good idea. I think it's best, yeah, I'll probably do this as a, as a next live stream. Hopefully this month, 
once. I know that I've got to do um doing the rest of the Vectrex games, and if I've got time, I might switch and do this as a live stream, which I think would be a good thing. Uh, so we've killed the Hobbit with uh, Merlin. I think with his dagger, didn't he? Was he? Didn't he have a dagger? Well, let's look at Merlin. Oh, my, I found a lamp, eh? Hey? Mm. So, look at Merlin. Oh, exit the building. Look at Merlin. Yeah, it's his dagger. So... Um, can I look at dead characters? Let's look at four. Yeah, you can. That's fine. Okay, so... Um, I have no idea which way I'm going. I think the thing is, is you're going to have to make a map out of this. Or, oh, I don't have time at the moment. Two gnomes, let's take them on, because why not? So why aren't we doing anything else? And that's one dead. It's two gnomes dead. I said that on purpose, so it's fine. I, I, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Uh, is there an actual exit to the city? Because apparently, according to the instructions, there is um. There, there is bits on the tape where you can... Ooh, it's dark. That's nice that they have a nine day system. Yeah, on the tape it has... Um, sections where you can um, mark the, the... Mark the positions of where tape starts to where the next level bits are, which is good. Oh me, I'm probably going around in circles. Oh, four skeletons. So we've injured one. Injured another one. Oh, oh no, 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 they've injured us. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Merlin's dead. Okay, Marcus is getting almost dead. Oh, man's attacked one. Go for the suicide one. So we can officially do a game over. That's Marcus gone. And Omar's oh, close to death. Yep. Gang cease to be. Press the key to start again. Or rot in peace, as the um, Mark has just said. So anyway, that's a bard's tale. Um, so yes, I will play this again. I'll do it on a live stream. Um, but I will have to make a map. Or I could cheat and grab a map from somewhere. Um, I don't know what's best. So if somebody says don't cheat, do it through um, writing down. I'll do it that way. Um, but we can decide that on the next live stream, which should be the end of this month actually, um, because I didn't do, I usually do the third and the fourth of, uh, the third and fourth, or, the third or fourth Saturday of every month, I didn't do one last month because it, February was quite short and it snuck up on me, so, yeah, 
So hopefully I should be able to do one this month. Um, other than that, last time was quite uh, quite a nice role playing game. Um, it was very responsive, um, and the city seems to be quite large. So, yeah, there you go. So until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.